All right, count to five. One, two, three, four. Well, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Here's Henry. Here he is. Here's Dr. Henry. Uh, wh what are we here to do today, Henry? Another shark video guy. Another shark video guy. And Yo, this video. An right? Another shark video. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another shark video. And what we want to talk about is the sharks that you guys in Econ 200 drew for Henry as part of your extra credit. Not part of. It was your extra credit on the final exam. Of course, everybody who drew anything got the five points of extra credit. I did not discriminate on the basis of you know quality or anything like that. So everybody got full credit. Um, but there were some drawings that Henry really liked, some drawings that I really liked, and some that I just you know they they struck me in an, in a, an odd way, and I I wanted to um, talk about them. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna start with some of the interesting ones that had. Uh, some connections to us and then we're gonna get into our favorites okay and let's take turns talking about which one is our favorite okay, okay. all right so we'll start with uh, with with not favorites but still interesting all right here's the first one. First one by Taylor Willenborg okay and the reason why this is interesting to me or why it struck my fancy is right here shark bait ooh ha ha now it turns out that that is kind of a saying in our house, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Do we have another shark that we call shark bait ooh ha ha? And do we? Do we have one? Yeah. And where is he? This guy. Right there. That is the shark bait ooh ha ha of the Dr. Wynn household. So there's ours. Here is Taylor's. I think that's a pretty good likeness, don't you think so? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Here's something else that struck me uh, as interesting. So this was submitted by Nash McDonald. Okay, and let me just put those up so you can see what each type of shark is. Okay, now I'm gonna ask Henry. Henry, what kind of shark is this one right here? I think it's a thresher. You think that's a thresher shark? Uh -huh. Okay, let's show it to the camera so they can read for themselves. Henry thinks that is a thresher shark. What kind of a shark do you think this one is right here? A great white. You think this one is a great white. Okay, let the people at home read. And what about this last one right here? A oh, tiger shark. Boy, that's really getting in the light. There we go. He, he, he looks like a tiger shark. Looks like a tiger shark. He is actually like... He is actually a tiger shark. Okay, now I have a question. Do you know how to read? No. No, you don't know how to read. Uh -uh. And did anybody read those to you? Mm, I think so. No, nobody, nobody read those shark types to Henry, but he was able to tell Nash that you had drawn a thresher, a great white, and a tiger shark. Henry, I'm happy to tell you that you are 100% correct on all three of those. You, you recognize them on site. So, well done, Nash. I'm not sure that I could have made it without the captions, but Henry is that expert in sharks that he could figure it out. All right. Something else to mention really quickly is just the variety of sharks that you guys submitted. I'll go get the whale shark. No, no, no. It's right here. Oh. Right? So, I was expecting... <coughs> If not just kind of generic sharks, right, or just like a fin coming out of water, I was mostly expecting great whites, maybe hammerhead here and there, and those were well represented. But in addition to that, we had the following submissions. It's a whale shark by Emma Connor, and Emma reports that she actually swam with uh, whale sharks in the Philippines. Would you like to do that someday? Sure, and maybe I, and next next time Emma is gonna go to the Philippines. Do you want her to take you with her and you go sh swimming with the whale sharks? Uh huh. And I want her to take me to the sharks where where tiger sharks live. Okay, so Emma, next time you are on your way to visit whale sharks or tiger sharks, please give us a call. Send send an email. You, my email address will not have changed. All right, so whale sharks. Here's another submission. This one is by 
Harrison Brewer, the bull shark. Was not expecting to see one of those. And a fun fact, as you can see, is that the bull shark is found in warm, shallow waters around the world. Henry, did you know that? I know. But you do now, don't you? Uh-huh. Okay. And in addition to that, <laughs> the Caribbean Reef Shark, okay, by Aubrey Schweiger. I hope oh. I'm pronouncing that right. Could be Schweiger, but I think it's Schweiger. Um, Caribbean Reef Shark. Was not expecting to see one of those, but there it is. <laughs> Had you ever heard of a Caribbean reef shark before? No, but now I do. But now you have. Okay. And then the last one, which it's not captioned, so I'm not 100% sure that I'm right on this, but this appears to me to be the unicorn cyclops shark. It's got one eye and something that looks like a horn. Uh, so this was submitted by Dominique Rosa. Dominique, I would have appreciated a caption to let me know exactly what species this is, but I like it anyway. Henry, had you ever seen a one-eyed shark with a horn before? That's a that's not a shark. That's it's not a shark. Uh, uh it's, it's it's a uh, it's a fish. It's a fish. Well, guess what? what? It must be a shark because I gave her extra credit for it and you only get extra credit for drawing sharks. So I'm pretty sure it's a shark. All right, let's talk about our favorite sharks, okay? We're gonna show each of them to you, and Henry, will you say a, a quick word about why you like each of the, the drawings? I like okay? tiger sharks. Well, I know you do, but is here's one of Henry's favorite, mm -hmm. submitted by Chance Corby. Henry, can you tell us why you like this shark so much? It's because he's so cute, and I'm going to call him Mr. Knightley. Mr. Knightley, okay, which... Mr. Knightley the shark. Mr. Knightley the shark. Now, Chance, what you probably don't know is that the name of our dog is Mr. Knightley, and so I think that's a sign of great affection on Henry's part for the shark that you submitted. Okay, here is one of the ones that... I wanted to highlight one of my favorites, okay? It's funny. This was submitted by Dean Nunes. <laughs> Why do I like this shark so much? Well, because honestly, guys, the average quality of the drawings that you submitted was so high that most, for the most part, they made me feel, uh, you know, unworthy. I, I was amazed at how, at how good they were, and I didn't think I could possibly <laughs> compete with anything like that. Dean... Dean gave me hope. His is only about 5, maybe 10% better than what I could have done on my own. And also, I just feel like we're in so bad it's good territory with, uh, with this one. All right, so thank you, Dean. Here's the next one that was one of Henry's favorites. The Happy Great White. The Happy Great White, submitted by Maya Harrell. Why do you like this one so much, Henry? It's because he's like, ah, I like you. <laughs> is that what he's saying? Ah, I like you? Amazing. Look, he's so happy when he talks, there's even a happy face. All right, excellent. Thank you, Maya, for submitting that. All right, here's one of my favorites. It is funny. This is, I mean, I can't even fit the whole thing to give you, you know, all the details up close. But what I liked about this one, obviously there's an awful lot going on here, so I respect all the effort that went into it. Hammerhead Shark. Okay, I like the, the mixture of the shark with the actual uh, hammerhead. It reminds me of a sculpture at the Aquarium of the Pacific, which is a hammerhead shark that is made out of the heads of hammers. Okay, uh, also, I appreciated the reference to the two-legged dinosaur, the snow dinosaur that Henry had, um, you know, talked to you guys about in an earlier video, and, and the fact that the dinosaur is in a snowy... Uh, background. So I just thought it was very clever. Um, and this was submitted by uh, Allison. Allison, oh shoot. <laughs> I, I forgot no, to write no, no, your, no, no. your last name on the back. Allison, I apologize. And I, I can't remember your, your last name off the top of my head. Um, so luckily you've already submitted your uh, teaching evaluation of me. So there's, there's no way you can get back at me. But anyway, I really, Allison, I appreciate the, all the work that you put into your, uh, your art, even if I don't remember your last name. My, mine are 
one. Okay, here's I, the next one. What kind of shark is this one? A tiger shark. Okay, and let's show the folks. Submitted by Cecilia Wynn. Why do you like this one so much, Henry? It's because he's sitting in the water. Sitting in the water. Are you sure he's in the water? Mm-hmm. It's possible so. that it's a sand tiger shark sitting on the beach. What do you think? No, it's just a tiger shark. Just a tiger shark? Actually, yeah, he's on the beach. Okay, excellent. Cecilia, mm -hmm. well done. Thank you for your submission. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's another one that I really liked. <laughs> Partly because it's, uh, you know, a, a lemon shark. It wasn't the typical uh, great white or hammerhead, so I like that. This was submitted by uh, Kaja Kapuska. Kapustka. Henry. Okay. Please don't play with those. Um, and what, what I really liked about this picture is the bubbles coming in the front and the back just made me think of a shark that was sneezing and tooting at the same time. <laughs> Have you ever done that before, Henry? No. You've never done that before? Okay. No. Well, I think a lot of people at home can probably relate to what this shark is, uh, is going through. All right. Kaja, thank you for your submission. Okay. And now we come to the second to last for Henry. It's another tiger shark. Another tiger shark. Henry loves the tiger shark. This one was submitted by Abby Quaylar. Abby, thank you for your submission. And this one looks a little bit shy to me. Like, like this shark is, um, I don't know, kind of trying to uh, be a bit of a wallflower and, and not take up too much attention. Why, why do you like this shark so much? Because he's looking down and saying, mm, I'm going to eat you guys. <laughs> oh, all right. I thought it was a shy shark, but you think it's an aggressive shark? Tiger shark. <laughs> it is a tiger shark. You're right. And will they eat anything? Yeah. They'll eat anything. Excellent. Okay. Second to last for me. <laughs> Actually, no. I, I have a couple more after this. Submitted by Sebastian. Sebastian de Arantes Oliveira. I, I just like the attitude that's going on with the shark. And also, it reminds me of like surfing and skateboarding uh logos that I would have seen on t-shirts back in like the 1980s okay when I was in um, when I was in elementary school so Sebastian well done thank you for your submission okay Henry um, what about this one okay this was submitted by Jocelyn Rivera and why are you so taken with this one Henry because they say I'm going to eat you, and they... I'm going to find you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only reason? I thought I thought there was something in particular about this shark. What? Oh. I'm going to say, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do do do, baby shark, do do do, baby shark, mama shark, do 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 do, mama shark, do do do, mama shark, do do do, mama shark. Daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark. Ah, uh, it never gets old, does it? Okay, so this is the baby shark. Okay, and what are baby sharks actually called? Pups. Baby sharks are pups. So that's the pup, and in our family, who would that be? The mama shark. No, no, no. This one. Who would who would this one be? Uh, the baby shark in our family. Who would shark. be the baby shark? Um, Mr. Knightley. Mr. Knightley, the dog. I think it would be Dr. Henry. Sure. And then, and then who's this one right here? Mama. That's the mama shark, and that is? The daddy shark. All right, so that's me, that's you, that's mama. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so just two more to go through. This one was submitted by Mason Meyer. And I like this for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, this one reminds me of uh, Jabberjaw, which was a, uh, a cartoon that I used to watch in my youth, an old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Um, also, they kind of remind me of the sorts of sharks that would be logos back when I was a kid. And this one gives a shout out to Dr. Karras as well as Dr. Henry. And so Mason, I appreciate how inclusive you were in your praise. Thank you for your submission. Here's the last one, Henry. And I have to say, uh, 
like I mentioned before, the average quality of the drawings that you submitted were very high. I was shocked by how few of them were as uh, poor a, a drawing as I would have done, okay, myself. But there is one that stood out among all the rest for its high level of quality, and that is the submission by Burkana McDowell. I mean, are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. This was drawn as an extra credit problem on a final exam, okay? She took the final exam and still had time to do this. I can't even imagine. If I had taken the entire, you know, two and a half hour period of the final exam, I could have come up with something slightly better than what Dean submitted. And Burkana, I don't know how long this took you, but uh, I kind of feel like you're flexing on me a little bit here. Anyway, well done. And uh, if you can send me the original of this, I would be very, very happy. Uh, maybe once we're all back on campus, you could drop it off at my office if you haven't already framed it and put it up on your own wall. So, what are you, are you speaking whale? I think so. All right, Henry, can you tell everybody thank you for their drawings? Uh, yeah, thank you for your drawings, guys. We really appreciate them, and we hope you have a wonderful summer vacation. And Henry, as always, what are the three things we tell our students? Be flexible. Be flexible. Communicate. Uh, <laughs> stay awesome. Stay awesome. And tiger shark. And... Swim with we, and, we tell them and, four things. And, and, and swim with tigers. Okay. Be flexible. Communicate. Stay awesome. Swim with tiger sharks. Take care, everybody.